That's what this is. The INA is that overall relentless improvement. It's one of our core values in SAFE, relentless improvement. So this is why we do it, right? There's several things here, but we wanna do this to celebrate our achievement. It's a golden opportunity for everyone to take advantage of all that's been accomplished, recognize collective contributions where teamwork is flourishing and all those things we bring together. It's, it's an opportunity to recognize those things. It's also an opportunity to ensure alignment. We always hear about, you know, this is what the business asked for. Is this what the uh, implementation group, the implementation teams and development teams or whoever's producing the product, is there alignment there? Did we deliver on our PI objectives? Did we work on the most valuable things? Uh, are we creating an environment of mutual trust between business and the implementation folks, right? Are we building that trust, those people that are doing product delivery and the people that are doing product management? Is there alignment? We're making sure that that happens. This is our chance to reflect on that. It's a chance, again, to validate the results, right? What do the metrics data tell us? Uh, are we allocating capacity to the right things? Are we predictable? Uh, you know, what about quality? You know, what adjustments do we need to make moving forward? Constantly thinking about that relentless improvement, that constant sense of uncomfort that we have to get better. We want to get better every single day. As one of my fellow colleagues says, I want to suck less today than I did yesterday. And I want to constantly be thinking about that is what can I do to be better? And finally, you know, the inspect and adapt is our opportunity to optimize the entire product development system, that system of people doing the work, as well as our processes and our products, right? And we can identify and address all those underlying issues that might be slowing us down. It's positive change. And at the end of the day, when we do this and why we want to do this, why we want to invest in this is because this is our chance to enhance productivity. We're always talking about productivity. How do we get faster? How do we get better? And ultimately, it's for more profit margin, right? That's how we're going to get more profit, right? By streamlining things, finding where the bottlenecks are. Where do we need to organize around value? Where can we eliminate dependencies and, and start to reorganize around value and accelerate, 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 right? And meet our customers' needs head on, avoid disruption, right? It's our opportunity to do that so that we're well prepped and well prepared. And so that's exactly what it is. It is our cycle of relentless improvement and it's baked into safe so we can do that. And leaders, if you're a leader on the phone, you absolutely need to be involved because adopting practices like inspect and adapt, it's what allows you to both look at your product for improvement and your process for improvement and then adapt them to ultimately improve the organization and actually generate more profit, more savings, more customer satisfaction, you know, higher NPS scores. And it comes back to this, right? Only leaders have the power to fundamentally change the organization, the way the work is performed. Only you can do that. We've learned that from Deming. Only you can actually do that. So how can you be involved? The first is to attend, right? Make this a priority. You have to make sure that INA is executed, right? It's part of the cadence and your commitment to attend is part of that. Your commitment to making sure it happens. Obviously, actively participate, engage, ask questions, provide feedback, ask what's in it for me with them, right? Ask so what questions, be provocative. It's your opportunity to participate and challenge the status quo. And listen and learn, much like you'd go on a gamble walk and walk the floor, read the room. What are you hearing? What are people saying? You know, what are people popping up? You know, what engagement is happening and not happening? It's your opportunity to explore, learn, listen, and ultimately support the teams, right? You can create the environment for relentless improvement. You can actually do that. How can you help? How can you encourage, un, you know, untamed creativity? How can you create the environment of safety? How can you be a servant leader? How can you be a lean agile leader and think about optimization, think about eliminating waste, think about these things and apply that. So leadership involvement is so critical to this. I mean, in making sure you're there. And so let's go back, you know, thinking back to that survey, I'll just jump ahead. Uh, thinking about the three ways that I would break down the common challenges to a successful inspect and adapt event. 